Today we're going to talk about DV and SA. Hey guys, Victoria Paxton here. Thanks for stopping back by my YouTube channel. Okay, so <clears throat> today we're going to talk about a little bit about Amber Heard. Um, a little bit about Amber Heard, you know, concerning the civil trial that's going on in Fairfax County. Um, again, you know, Johnny Depp suing her because of the op-ed she put in the Washington Post. Okay. So, it's no big secret. I think most people that watch my channel know that I was in a DV relationship. And I suffered not just DV, but also SEXA. Um, and I, I wanted to say a few things. It, first of all, if you or someone you love is in a DV situation or an SA situation, you can call the National DV Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. Okay, so, and if you know of anybody that's going through that, you need to help them today, not next week. If you're in a DV or SA situation, you need to leave today, not in two weeks when you get paid, today because tomorrow might not come for you. Okay, so I spoke about this a little bit on Friday Night Live last about, you know, the whole situation with Amber Heard in court. It's just an act. It's all a bunch of BS, it's an act. I don't believe for one second that Amber Heard was DV'd or essayed. Don't sue me, that's my opinion, I'm entitled to it. She, however, was accused of DV when she was married to her wife in the past. The charges were dropped, but it was alleged that, yeah. And the entire time she's been on the stand, it's been, for lack of a better word, she's, she's trying for, you know, for an Academy Award, but it's hysterical because you can watch her and know that she's faking. She's going, <laughs> but there's not one tear in her eye. And there are still times when I talk about the DV and SA that I went through that it still makes me cry. Um, you know, the bottom line is the breaks heal, the bruises heal, but that mental and emotional abuse is still in your head. You know what I mean? And it takes a long time to work through that. Um, and I, I just wanted to say, <laughs> so at one point, Amber Heard testified that Johnny hit her and then she went up to him and said, you hit me, you hit me. Okay. <laughs> Had I have went to my ex-husband and said that to him, I know what would come next. I would have gotten my ASS beat so hard. Um, there was one time when I, uh, how do I say this, when I snapped back at him because I was just so over it. And at this point, I, at that point when that happened, I knew I was going to leave him. I just was trying to gather a plan and get things together. And after I said it, I was like, oh, I should have never said that. And, you know, I went through a lot because I said that, because I snapped back. Okay, so you, you know, you would never say that to someone that's DVing you. Um, a lot, you know, people don't really talk about the SA that they go through, but in a large percentage of DV cases, there's also SA. Um, I went through it and it was hard, it was tough. Um, you know, I still have those wounds to this day um, those, you know, I, the SA aspect of it is still something, um, to this day that I don't talk about that, you know, um, there's, I, I have no problem mentioning that it happened, but there's no reason for me to go into detail about it, you know, so I don't. Um, and I think a lot of women, 
I think a lot of women go through it as well and, and I don't think they talk about it. It's something that's just kind of brushed over. Um, I don't believe for a second that Amber Heard went through it because had she have gone through it, if she had to, if she had to rehash it and relive it, you would be able to tell when she testified. You know what I mean? Um, and that's not what's going on. <laughs> you know, it, there were so many contradictions, just, you know, the two days that she's been on the stand. Um, one of them was she talks about how she was sitting on the edge of the couch. And then all of a sudden, you know, Johnny had beat her up, I guess. And all of a sudden she was on the floor and she noticed, never noticed how dirty the carpet was. Well, how are you sitting on the edge of the couch in one second and the next second you're on the floor? You know what I mean? Like, there's just so much contradiction going on and it's just such a joke. And I did want to add this. I got an email about this. Somebody pointed this out. Um, when Amber first got on the stand, she talked about, quote, she, okay, so she was talking about Johnny, right? Her relationship. And she said, quote, the thing with Johnny, it's like the sun shines on you and it's glorious. And then he forgets you and it's very, very cold. When you have his attention, you feel like you're the only person in the world. That's why everybody loves him so much. Close quote. I, I just think it's funny. I, you know, you can clear, clearly tell that she's acting and she's bad at acting at that. <laughs> um, because if she had suffered DV and SA at the hands of Johnny Depp, you would be able to tell in her testimony. Anybody that's been through DV and SA, you can spot a person a mile away and you can see the signs if someone's been through it. I don't know how to explain it, um, but you can just see the signs. Don't ask me what the signs are. I, I, um, I mean, some of the obvious signs, like it would be 96 degrees outside and I would go to work with a long sweater on, you know? Everybody would be like, aren't you burning up? I'm like, oh no, I'm, I'm cold. When really I was sweating to death and burning up, but I had so many bruises on my arms, I couldn't let that be seen, you know? Um, I didn't think that my family and friends knew. I thought I had done this great job at keeping it hidden, but they knew. Um, I found out after the fact, or the majority of them at least suspected. Um, some of them knew because the night before I got married, he beat the crap out of me. And my friend was in the other room sleeping on our couch and she tried to bust the door down and she couldn't, it was horrible. Um, you know, she said, like, I heard your screams. I knew he was hurting you and I didn't know what to do. So I walked down the aisle on my wedding day, bruised from head to toe. I mean, like serious bruises. I had makeup on and yeah, I should have never walked down that aisle. And I always was, I kept saying like, oh, I'm going to leave him on this day. I'm going to leave him on this day. And that day took forever to come, you know, um, so if you know of anybody that's going through this, help them get out like today, you know? Um, I was very fortunate that I'm still alive. Um, it could have easily gone the other direction. Um, yeah. But I just want to say it's just a slap in the face to anyone that's been through DV or SA or both um, with Amber up there, Amber Heard up there lying clearly lying on the stand trying to act and it just makes me angry um it really makes me angry it, it's just sad that it's come to this you know the me too movement came out and anybody that was a part of that that's awesome but then when you have people at the exact opposite extreme like Amber Heard, who's trying to pretend like she was abused. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But <laughs> you can just see it, especially when females are abused. You can see it in their behavior, if that makes any sense. Um, clearly, you know, Amber Heard's been arrested. The charges were dropped, but she was arrested for hitting her wife prior to meeting Johnny Depp. Um, and she, she clearly has some issues. <laughs> it, it does, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that that woman has some serious issues. Um, 
And if in fact she was DVD or essayed by him, then I feel horrible. And, but I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't think it ever happened. Um, and I just, you know, I just wanted to get this out because it just really makes me angry when people, it's basically belittling everybody that's been through DV. You know what I mean? It's, it's just a slap in the face and it just pisses me off, frankly. Um, I feel like going and getting in my car and driving to the Fairfax County Courthouse and speaking to her, but I won't do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never do that. Um, I'm sure she's getting enough backlash. That's why she fired her PR team because people are just not believing her BS. So, so if anybody that you love is going through DV, SA, or both, do what you can right now to get them out today because tomorrow might not be there. It's been a shitty week. I've lost two people this week and yeah. So be nice, be kind, stay safe, stay healthy. And if you know someone that's going through this, that's suffering, do everything you can to get them out. You know, if you have a neighbor and it sounds like she's getting beat up, call the police. If she's not, that's fine. But if she is, you might have just saved her life, you know? All right, guys, that about does it for me.